Hello, at the Seahawks fan with another Go Battle League video. We got Origin Dialga in the lead. We have Complete Zygarde and we have Don Wingsley Krozma. And we have a nice catch of that Sacred Fire. Definitely the best, well, Zygarde is the best Pokemon on the team to take that damage. Unfortunately, they do get the attack drop. They break it and dip. Okay. Are they going to respect the potential Earthquake? Unfortunately, they know shield. Boo! I think they may have used a shield had they uh, not gotten the attack drop. But here, the return of our Dialga. Load on our energy. That time, they respect the nuke. Let's go. We're going to shield up the Iron Head as expected, but it's fine. That's only an Iron Head, not a War Time, and we pivot into Necrozma. Shield a piece. We're going to go for the Dog Pulse. They're not going to want to shield this up. Low health. Oh, they bring in, uh, they sack the uh, Dialga. We are going to full send, and we go. Kaboom! The Moon Guy Spin goes nuclear on Origin Palkia. Let's go. Now. Dawn Rings versus Duskmane Krozma. What is better? Duskmane, I would say, is better right now. Now, they are different Pokemon. Definitely have some different uses. And, I mean, Duskmane is the best steel type in the game. So, it's stronger than Shadow Metagross and still will be stronger than Mega Metagross once that's released. And we get a nice Earthquake KO onto that Duskmane. But... Dawn Wings, I mean, the damage is still amazing. Now, an even shield and a, well, even energy advantage position. Dustman can one shield farm down a Dawn Wings. Definitely, I mean, it's super weak to Shadow Claw, Ghost type moves. But Moon Guys Beam, I mean, normal types can eat as many Moon Guys Beams as possible, but Dog Pulse or whatever second move. Likely Dog Pulse. Still going to be a lot of damage. And, uh, Landorus. Let's go. We get the Iron Head. Had they, uh, gone for the Sansia Storm, they would have been able to avoid that Iron Head, probably. But now we have a Shadow Knight Mewtwo in the lead. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Are they going to go for Shadow Ball? They do. Now, the dream would be catching a Side Strike onto... Dawn Wings, but also that is definitely a big risk. Being Shadow Ball as a strong hitting move, we have a Kyogre. Not too shabby of a matchup, but just going to go straight for the EQ before they get to Blizzard Energy, which is possible to have. No guarantees, but also. Let's go with Origin Poles. Take that. And we take out the Kyogre. What are they going to bring in? They bring an Origin Palkia. Yeah, nice. We can go Kaboom with the Crunch. We get the Defense Drop. That's massive. Origin Palkia yeah, gets met with Dawn Wings. Now, I do have plenty of videos with Duskmane on the channel and Spatial Ren Full Send. I respect that. But a very healthy Dialga says you need the energy to deal with Dialga. And with the synergy, yeah, they knew what was coming. The grind to legend. Is it possible for me to get legend finally? Could this be the season? Stay tuned. Got lots more Master League. And we also have Go Battle Weekend with Worlds. 100 battles a day, 20 sets. I'm going to be doing all in Master League because that is my best chance. Where I'm most comfortable. And I do have the Pokemon. And hopefully I could uh, grind my way up and then it can be all just tons of tons of spice. I got, I got a lot of candies. I got a lot of starters. I could build some crazy Pokemon. But priority is legend. And uh, the day of, you'll probably see a legend video. So won't have to wait long. But yeah, stay tuned. Subscribe. Find out. If I ever get Legend, 
by the time you've seen this video, I may have hit expert, may, maybe not. But I did hit it last season for the first time. And I'm gunning for it again. And then Legend because I got the Pokemon. Just a matter of can I be good enough. And here we are destroying this Zygarde. Take that. We may have shielded up. But now we have Primarina. Alignment. Very important. And here comes Dawn Wings. Shadow Claw is chunking away. When they... When, when it's a uh, pre-made community day, with Hydro Cannon on this thing, it's going to be broken. And we have a fellow Dawn Rings in the Cosmo to deal with. And we have back-to-back -back Dark Pulses. Let's go. Their shields are down. We have a full health Zygarde. We have a shield, and they knew they were not going to get to the moves they needed. Even if they landed a Moon Guy Stream, they still needed... A lot more energy, and we were gonna get to the next crunch in time. But we have Dusk Mane and Crow's Mud to deal with. Now you'll see some uh, outrages on Dusk Mane and Crow's Mud, and I, I think Dog Pulse is just better. They're definitely, you can definitely get some big hits on some dragons with outrage, but I think, especially in the mirror match, you're just going to really need. Dark Pulse. With Quake Pulse, your shield of Zashian. That's massive. Dawn Wings comes in. Wild Charge. And we're going to shield up a second. Wild Charge. The second one that is thrown. And we have ho -Oh. Moon Guy Spin. Do they respect the new Greek? Go cop. Boom. They boom. We're actually going to shield up because we're going to go for the farm now. A Brave Bird. Switch timer is up, and we're going to put trust that we can reach an Earthquake before they reach two play roughs, which we do get to Earthquake first. We're going to pull a shield off them. They're going to go for the far, uh, let's see, what move do they do? Play rough to take me out, play rough to take me out. It's not enough, they undercharge. They almost... Get hit by the next earthquake, but we actually win charge tag priority. Maybe they lagged. I mean, I definitely thought I would have lost with them throwing a move. Or maybe they didn't have energy. But let's go. We find a Kyogre. We have a perfect Dorge and Dialga to go up against. They're going to pull a shield. It's Iron Head, unfortunately. Going to go for Crunch. Are they going to respect the nuke? Dang, Nabbit. Maybe Crunch debuff. Maybe Crunch debuff. No, but we do take them out. We hang on. We reach an earthquake. Big damage. We go kaboom into a shield. We have Z. Oh, we take the blizzard. I'm going to go for his Iron Head. Grabs a shield. We find Origin Palkia. Perfect Origin Palkia. This is tricky. I mean, they already outpaced, and with that slight energy advantage, it's tricky. I think I need the Moon Guys Beam to Kaboom. We Kaboom! Dark Pulse definitely would not have been enough. Maybe I could have squeezed another Shadow Claw, but Surf takes me out. And Energy Dry on. They all good. That is tough. But here we are. We have Origin Palkia on the ropes. Let's go. We scare them into ho -Oh. We can wall their ho -Oh with the mighty Zygarde complete. Sacred Fire. Dope. Oh, they get the attack drop. Dope, 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 dope. That's bad. Are they going to Brave Bird? Gonna brave it, sacred fire once again. Time to crunch the bird. And we're just gonna go for the next crunch because we get shield or KO. I'll happily take a KO. Fortunately, they get a farm down before we get to the next move. We find a Necrozma. This is tricky. 
This is tricky, tricky, tricky. Shield up by Average. Oh. And they're going to let us throw the next move. Nice. Average does not take out my Dialga. Oh, they swap. And we don't reach the War of Time in time. Aqua Tail goes shielded. I could have survived that, but we take out the Palkia. We take out the Dusk Bane. Beautiful, beautiful. Origin, they all get in the mirror match. They have a better one. They also are best buddy like me. I'm just going to settle for going for the uh, Iron Head. We each go for Iron Head. Okay. Iron heads against each other. We both shield up. Iron head once again. Not going to go for a fake. With time, they pivot into Hoa, which Sushanda Ho, very fancy, very lucky, very powerful. Sacred fire, no debuff. Let's go. Time to crunch that beast. Was that a defense drop? Was that a defense drop? We crunch. And they have another move. That's fine. That's fine. Brave Bird and, and they get taken out. Let's go. Ooh, we have Garatina. Maybe I should have just gone for the crunch. Did I totally fumble this? Giving them the energy they need. I could have taken the last shield. Yeah, that was bad. And they have another move. Is it going to be enough for a KO? It is a Shadow Ball. Okay. And we have Crunch. Take them out. They have a shield still, but they have a move on a uh, Dialga. That's a bad. That's a bad. Next opponent. We have them on the ropes. So I think this is a shiny. Honestly, I think that's a Shunda Origin Palkia. We have a Land of Hysterian. One of my least favorite things to go up against, which, I mean, I'm using one of most people's least favorite thing to go up against. Although there's lots of fairies that can kind of wall this beast. Tapabulu, Toga Kiss. Primarina has a real nice matchup with as Chama. Zonius and Zashin both have real good matchups. But of course, Earthquake can hit like a truck. We both swap at the same time. That could have been bad. But I do make a big mistake by just full sending Moongeist. Not much left in the Pokemon we have. And two shields apiece. They're going to shield something. I would have already been at this next Dog Pulse. To Shadow Claw sooner. I would have that third one ready. Already. That's a bad. But dog pulls before we get taken out by Shundo or Palkia. Land was. And then, haha, take that. We have a legend to go up against. Beautiful. Origin Palkia. We have them on the ropes. Actually, maybe that wasn't a Shundo, but that was definitely Hundo. Last battle. Outrage. Oh, that would have hurt. We're going to full send the Earthquake, and we are going to go kaboom. They don't respect the Earthquake. Take that, Duskmane. Take that. We, they have a shiny Xerneas. No wonder they let the move go through. No wonder they let the move go through. But they do have an Orange Palkia, which does not want to see Dialga. They do have a shield advantage. Oh, they let me reach the next Earthquake. Do they think... Did were they counting? Let's go. We get the KO. And now, beautiful. And we get a free legendary from GBL. Need more of these. Should be able to get at least like two a week if you do all your battles. Honestly, maybe five. Like almost one a day with RNG. That would definitely entice a lot more people to GBL. Free legendaries, but nope. We have Decimated Crow's Map. We're going to full send the War of Time. Outrage, okay. Kaboom, they kaboom us. 
Not enough for the KO as we are still tight to help resist the dragon moves. We are gonna go down because we don't want to shield up a bad health. The Alga, we have uh, the Crow's Mother come in, getting a uh, Shadow Claw in. We're gonna let that move go through. We're gonna go for Zidok Pulse. Could be a Moongeist. Oh, we land the move. Dope. Should have pulled send. I guess they didn't. Eh. It won the mind games. We shield Aqua Tail. That's bad. We have Ho on the ropes. So I shunned Ho. Am I seeing things right? I see the CP. It's a Shunda. Oh, wow. Lucky ducks. These Shundos. Can I survive this move? Brave Bird. And we're going to bring in the Dawn Wings. We're going to grab the Shield. Could have gotten a free Dragon Tail. At least hit one in. And I definitely could have gotten a uh, Dragon Tail there. But we take them out. One HP in a dream. Let's go. Complete Zyga hanging on. Taking that win. Very, very close battle. Almost. Almost uh, unable to do the damage. We failed to make a Sacred Fire catch and we drag out a Hondo Zonius. Okay. Lucky Duck of. Uh, lucky me. Lucky me. We have Z Earthquake. We shield up the Moonblast. We go and dish out the next Earthquake. To go to Shield of Peace. Not too shabby. And they're going to throw the next move. What move is it? It's actually close combat. That's massive. And they actually go back to back close combats. Knowing I have the Alga. But take that. And now the Alga returns. Because they were double debuff. They do not respect the world time. Let's go. Take that. Okay, they still have ho up. Sacred Fire takes me out. Okay, I am at one dog pulse. Gonna shield Sacred Fire. Now, Dawn Rings wins Charge Act priority up against ho -Oh. oh, they let me take them out. Can I take out Xerneas? Is Moonblast enough? No, it is. Don't. Hope you enjoy the battle. Subscribe to the channel for daily go battle videos. Got tons of Master League content to come and tons on the channel with some very exciting teams. Some very spicy picks maybe from uh, past seasons. But right now, going to use meta because I want to get to Legend. If you're new to the channel, well, get used to hearing me trying to hit Legend. And once I do hit Legend, oh man, going to be mentioned every video. But thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoy the video. It helps out a lot. But thanks for watching and goodbye.